Home prices are soaring, but does this mean that housing crash is coming? Manuel Sanchez here with your Real Estate Market Report. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'm here at the Baccarat House in Del Mar, which is one of my current listings on the market. And we recently did a $500,000 price adjustment, now listed at 4995. If you wanna learn more information about this property, make sure to visit thebaccarathouse.com. So let's take a step back to the year 2000 when homeowners were sitting back watching their home values skyrocket to the heavens. It seemed like the housing market was just unstoppable. Then, it all came tumbling down with the beginning of the subprime meltdown in March of 2007. Values dropped like a rock. Many lost their homes to foreclosures or short sales. I wasn't in real estate at the time, but I do remember graduating from high school into the world of the Great Recession. I wasn't a homeowner yet, but I knew people who were directly affected by the collapse. Fast forward to present time 2021, and the housing market is soaring upward with seemingly no end in sight. Buyers are tripping over each other, willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars above asking price. Throwing the news of rising inflation and the potential of a drastically higher mortgage rates, and I mean, Madness must come to a screeching halt, right? Well, even though so many are anticipating and reporting that a housing crash is imminent, it's simply not going to happen, not now, not in the next six months and not in the foreseeable future. Contrary to today, the Great Recession was triggered by the housing market where anyone could purchase a home, regardless of your true qualifications. You had zero down payment loans, cash out refinancing, subprime lending, and chicken scratch loan documents that all contributed to the astonishing rise in values that inflated the housing bubble. Now what occurred can be explained by looking at supply and demand. When supply rises and demand drops, the unsold inventory climbs. When supply drops and demand rises, the unsold inventory falls. The housing data illustrated market conditions that were lining up in favor of buyers. As a result, the unsold inventory rose to extreme heights. In April of 2006, for example, the average time on market was 180 days, and it grew to 294 days by September. Contrast that to today, and the landscape is just entirely different. The inventory is at record low levels, and demand is just off the charts. Today's average time on market for San Diego County is 45 days and it will remain a hot seller's market for the remainder of the year. The bottom line is the housing market is not going to crash. The inventory is low, demand is high, market times are at all time low, mortgage rates are still remaining low and homeowners have plenty of equity. So don't believe the news that want to be the first to say, I told you so. If selling your house has crossed your mind, right now is the time to do it. We are headed into summer and it will definitely be the best time to sell. I, for one, just listed a property that sold in the first weekend of showings for well over list price. So if you're ready to sell, now would be a good time. If you have any questions or would like to know the selling process, please use me as your source for real estate here in San Diego. Thanks for watching another market update and I'll see you guys in the next one.